We would like to welcome you to the fourth annual Schoolmaker Fair hosted with the Design Society at the SeaWorld Arts and Culture Center. 100% interactive events, everything from uh, water balloon launching to coding to ner the Nerdy Derby. <laughs> This is the first year that the School Maker Fair has come out of Shenzhen American International School into a public venue, and I have seen how impactful it has been to all the parents and the kids. Seeing where everybody else is with their maker education programs, talking to the community and understanding things that they're focusing on, the whole community is getting a beat on itself. Schoolmaker Fair, it's been growing every year and we needed a bigger venue and we felt that Design Society was the right institution for it to be because they are the public beacon for design here. My personal hope is that uh, they will take on this event annually um, as a platform for all teachers, educators and kids in Shenzhen. Uh, STEAM Head is this wonderful innovative organization trying to push forward um, education innovation in Shenzhen and, and I think this is also what the Life Society is trying to do. Basically people to share their creativity. The Nanshan Maker Fair is using our central plazas, using our coastal plazas, parks and uh, all the public spaces and I think that is exactly what the space was designed for, for people to gather here and to share and to find inspirations for each other. We see design as a way of thinking, as a rich set of logics, uh, help us to understand the world and uh, to spotify problems and to figure out solutions and to create a better world. People now is getting aware that design is important and is um, very good. At, it's very good to help the kids to build up their thinking mind. China is now in the development of uh, from made in China to create in China. So creativity and design is very important for our industry. We are a window of Chinese design to the world and also a window of foreign designs into China. We wish they could have more kind of collaboration like this and to develop together. I've been to see a lot of the booths this year and something uh, I have really loved hearing about is actually a struggle that a lot of teachers are having. So these teachers are seeking ways to verbalize and conceptualize the values of the things that they're showing. This is great because it means that the teachers now feel confident enough to bring meaningful projects to the Maker Fair that don't just look beautiful, that aren't just dancing robots. Now they're at the next phase of explaining themselves. So we try to help teachers explain themselves with our badge systems. The badges will help some teachers, some teachers will find other ways, and I'm just really excited. It seems like a lot of the schools are at that point in their, in their maker education journey. Something that I really love about stuff like this is the behind the scenes stuff. So the QSI engineering team, a bunch of high school boys, uh, helped some of our teachers out because they forgot some of their stuff. And uh, we just have educators and students, you know, that are participating in this event, helping each other to set up and get ready for the public. And that, to me, is amazing. Fashion tech, like the kids are just automatically wanting to do it. 
They love being able to create wearables and, and express themselves that way. Make fashion really isn't about fashion. You know, make fashion is really about storytelling and a means to let your kids express themselves in which they were naturally doing anyways. And it got a lot of kids that weren't, you know, naturally inclined to do tech, you know, into tech. And a lot of kids that weren't really, you know, inclined to do fashion, you know, or design into fashion and design and really melded those two groups together at my school, you know, with Make Fashion EDU. Like, I just didn't, I wasn't even prepared for the reception that we had after our first Steam Runway show. With, that's quite, you know, important, powerful, and another platform and a way of access and another tool to, to teach our kids all these things that we want to teach them. One idea can really spawn an impact across a lot of communities. Uh, our first school maker fair was in 2016. It was just seven schools and about you know 30 booths. About 20% of the booths were interactive. Um, but this year it will bring 130 to 150 booths. Happily say 100% of the participants are interactive and student-led and driven. You know through the efforts of everybody wanting to know more and everybody starting to share and being open-minded. Uh, a couple of years ago, we would have teachers and parents, not everybody say, hey, there's no educational value in this. This doesn't look like a finished product. Like it doesn't look beautiful. And uh, you know, we argued very strongly that it's not about how something looks, it's really about you know, the idea. And so from there to now, being very accepting of something that doesn't look great, but has a lot of value in terms of content, effort, and idea. Uh, it has, you know, it's a very short time span, four years, uh, and I feel like that's pretty amazing. For more content like this, you can subscribe, uh, make sure to like us or share out to other teachers. If you use WeChat, I'll post my ID below. You can add me and in my moments, you can see lots of stuff like this. At Steamhead, we're not just about teaching technology. We're about using technology to make education more relevant. Check out our website at steamhead.space.